Okay, let's see what is going on with this assignment. So, module 4 assignment, applying game theory. I need to roll a six-sided die 25 times. So this is what I do. So I click and drag and highlight this, and I copy. Did I copy it? I don't know. Something might have gone up. I copy, and then I open up just a blank Excel, and I paste. Or you can use the one that I give you in class. Um, probably what I would do here is maybe put the rolls, the rolls, not the rolls you eat, the roll of the dice. There we go, the roll of the die. Okay, and so here, if you have a die, you are rolling it. So this was the virtual one that I give you. Roll. I got a four. So I'm going to pull one right there. I roll again. Roll again. I got a two. So I'll put a one right there. All right, now I'm not going to sit here and roll this 25 times. <laughs> but you should have 25 values in here. So I'm going to sum this row. Make this bigger so my blind eyes can see it. Ooh, 200. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. All right, so all I did was sum this row because I need to make sure it sums to 25. So I don't know. Let's say I had four there, three there, uh, seven there, three there, four there. What do I have left? Four. I have too many fours. Let's do five and six. Apparently, I wrote threes a lot. All right. So these, these are what I rolled. I rolled a four, one, five, wait, wait, wait. I rolled a one, four times. I rolled a two, three times, and so on. How you get these probabilities is the number of times you rolled it divided by 25. So what you could do is you could do equals four divided by 25. Now, I'm going to want this to move the 4, the 3, 3 divided by 25, 6 divided by 25, 3 divided by 25, 4 divided by 25, 5 divided by 25. Do you hear what I keep saying over and over and over? 25. I don't want that to change. So that's where I put that absolute reference with the dollars. I press F4 on my keyboard, but if you have a Mac, I think it's Command F4, but if it doesn't work, you can just type the dollar signs. All right, so now what I can do is I can drag that straight across. And what's kind of cool, since I summed this row, I actually could copy that. I'm going to drag it straight up. And I just wanted to sum this row to make sure it's summed to 1. So that's all I did, was just sum that row. So there is, there is that. There is that. Yeah, there's that. All right, so I filled in the table. I found my probabilities. So this is where we did in class. I showed how to do the expected outcome which is the mean. So what would you expect to get? Remember what we did? Remember what we did? We did the sum product and we did the outcomes, comma, the probabilities. So the X values are the outcomes, like you got a one, you got a two, you got a three, and so on. And so as you can probably see, the majority of the time I got a three, so it's saying, you know, this is in the long run what I would expect to get and all that kind of good stuff. So then it asks you, explain why you have that. Yeah, you can do all that stuff. Now we're going to do this binomial stuff. And so with the binomial, we know that's n because n is the number of trials. So what you have to do is you have to, and again, I'm hoping you're using what we did in class. But you got to count. We well, got to count Excel. Count 40, 20, 30, 20, 40. Ooh, 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 went too far. There we go. You've got to go all the way down to 25 because there's 25 rows. Now, what is P? Well, P in this case, and I'm just doing this all over in this Excel sheet. Again, you can either do a brand new Excel or you can just use the one I used in class. Remember, P is going to be the sum of the even numbers. What's even? A 2. So the sum of the probabilities. So I click on that. I hold the control key down. I click on 4. I hold the control key down and I click on 6. So based on my roles, this is the probability that I'm going to get an even number. So I actually get odd numbers more. Once again, makes sense with that 6 on 3 because that's an odd number. And now I just do my binomial. Y'all remember how to do it? B-I-N, 
O N B I S T. I started wanting to sing bingo. It says number of successes. That's that. We got no evens. Comma. Number of trials. That's a number we don't want to change. Right? The only number we want to change is the numbers going down here. Comma. The probability of success. I don't want that to change. That's my even. And then remember, we do not want these cumulative because I want just exactly the probability of zero. And so also remember that uh, this is in scientific notation. I can right click it. I can left click format cells. Once again, this is all in my live lecture. So if you're watching this first and going, what is she doing? You probably haven't watched my live lecture. Remember that seven tells me how many decimal places there are. So I should at least do seven or eight. And so this says there is a very, if I roll the die 25 times, this is a very small probability out of those 25 rolls that any, that none of them are going to be even. That's what that means. That says I did not get a single two, four, or a six when I rolled this 25 times. And now from here, you can just copy this straight down. And now you have stuff to answer things like the probability of 11. The probability of greater, you would add those values. All right, so just a little extra video if you're struggling on that part.